morning, it's half past eight. I got up not that long ago, I got up about eight o'clock today, I've been making myself coffee, loading the dishwasher up, I'm at my boyfriend's place, if you may notice. He's already working and I'm about to start work on tonight's vlog. I didn't get it all finished last night because I was rehearsing. Four of my bands at the moment are needing to have rehearsals for more, I don't know, important than usual gigs. <laughs> Four of them. One of them's weekly, the pub band one is weekly. It went a lot better last night than it did the week before because last week we were just like trying to fumble through everything to remember what we did, but we had remembered it this week and we actually moved forward with it, so that was really good. But we were rehearsing till 11 p.m. night before we had guests. Night before that I had a gig. That's my boyfriend coming in and out. <laughs> anyway, I need to get to it. So it's a bit too late. It's a couple of hours later now. I just went to the office and I came back in a jiffy. <laughs> a jiffy envelope. I need to post a CD to somebody to learn some stuff and they would like a CD. So we're going to send them an actual hard copy CD. How old school. Um, what was I going to say? I was supposed to be going home now because we were going to go home around my boyfriend's site visit, which has now been cancelled so we can go at any time. So I've got loads of work to do. He's got loads of work to do. So we can just carry on doing work and go a bit later. Well, well, well. I came to the bottom of the garden to show you the cows, the beautiful brown handsome cows in the next field and they're gone. It's just gone 12 o'clock and I'm having a little break from the screen. I've popped out into the beautiful sunshine. I'm coming to see how those apples are getting on. Ah, oh, there we are, still growing. Doesn't look a lot different from the last time I came and filmed it. Today is very much one of those just get me head down and get work done days at home. I mean, I know I'm not at home, I'm at my boyfriend's home, but my list is still the same. I'm gonna go practice my flute in a minute. So it's one of these days where if I was gonna have a day off from vlogging, I'd rather it was today, but uh, I lost all my footage the other day. So I'm still vlogging. So I apologize for not spending lots of time, you know, filming myself doing what I'm doing, but it's just gonna be one of those days where I talk to you in between the things that I'm doing because it's just too disruptive to keep filming and it ends up taking too long. What am I going to do? Get some squash or something because it's a hot thirsty day and I'm going to go practice my flute for an hour. Scales and exercises and things. Back to it then. What a beautiful day and what a flipping waste of a day to be indoors. Practicing, practicing, editing, editing, <laughs> doing admin. I need to do my accounts. <laughs> Oh, but this weather is so beautiful. I feel the sun on my skin. I just want to be out in it, honestly. I want to go for a long walk. That's what I want to be doing. But I really can't justify the time. Musicians union stuff comes through the post. We're both members. You get your public liability insurance through your musicians union membership. If you're a member, you get it as default. Right, I'm gonna have some Vimto, I think. Oh, that's done. The thing is, when I'm doing so much desky stuff and practicing fluty stuff, I don't feel like I achieve anything like practical. Now, ideally, I wanna leave that like that to dry. I know what's gonna happen. Some of his workers might come in, not know it's open and then trip over it, so. I think I probably better shut it up again. <laughs> Nearly an hour into practice and look, this has gone blue. I don't know if that's coming out on camera actually. I can see all my blue veins through it in real life. It's where the finger touches the body of the flute. That's the other side for comparison. Right, back to it. You know, I never normally put my flute down on a soft thing like a bed or a sofa because if somebody was to sit on that, it would crush it right in, wouldn't it? So normally I only put it on hard surfaces because then at least if somebody sits on it, it doesn't get as damaged. It would still probably be destroyed to be fair, but uh, you know, this is very unusual for me to do this, but I'm quite sure that nobody's going to come in. I have practiced for one hour scales and arpeggios and I have got a rumbling stomach. I'm starving. I have got a fabulous dish awaiting. <laughs> you won't believe what it's called. <laughs> I've got a funny story. Well, I think it's funny. Okay, it's not funny. I'll tell you anyway. <sighs> This is going in the microwave anyway. Is one meant to pierce holes in cling film when microwaving? I don't know. I imagine it would blow up like a balloon otherwise. Let's give it four minutes. Basically, when our guests were here on Sunday, I cooked an evening meal, like, impromptu, just made it up out of whatever I could find, as I do. And it was kind of a bit like a chilli, but with no chilli in it, because guests didn't want a lot of chilli. So uh, the guy, my friend Andy, was saying, well, what's it called then? I said, oh, you can call it whatever you like. You can call it Banjo Bong Bong if you want. And I was only joking. But then IB kind of picked up on that, and he was going, mmm, mmm, this delicious Banjo Bong Bong is most exquisite, you know, and silly things like that. And it kind of went on and on. So, <laughs> we're still calling it banjo bong bong and that's the left. <laughs>
was I know, ridiculous, I know, but I was very nice, kind of mild and pleasant. What was the temperature in here today then? Oh, it's a, a cool 24. Do you know, I was practicing in the room just now and IB came in from his office and he opened the door and he sort of went, oh, do you want me to open the window for you? And I said, no. He said, do you want me to bring a fan in? I said, no. Just, just felt like a pleasant ambient temperature to me. Anyway, everybody else is too hot at the moment, apart from me. Yesterday I was cooking at the stove there. It was not cooking banjo bong bong, I was cooking something even more experimental than banjo bong bong. <laughs> but anyway, one of my friends messaged me one on our local group chat, the Gal Pals, and said something like, oh, it's 29 degrees here, we're dying, how are you getting on? And I was in a big, thick, black woolly jumper, well, my black fluffy jumper, cooking away at a stove with two hobs on. And I text back, oh no, I'm fine, maybe it's not so hot here. And then I looked at that thermometer on the window, so it was 31 degrees, and I had my jumper on and didn't notice it was hot. This is what I'm like. So when IB was offering me a fan in my practice room, I was like, no, no, this is the only time of year I'm comfortable, don't take this off me. But when I'm practicing at home at the moment, it's colder in my cellar than anywhere else in the house. It's like 17 or 18 degrees down there, and so it's like a shock going down and I don't like it. I like the temperature upstairs so I'm seriously thinking about doing some practice in my front room. I don't know if the neighbours would appreciate it though, that's the thing. I'm quite isolated down there below ground level. It'd be nice though. Anyway, that's kind of one of the reasons I practised here today. My boyfriend's house is isolated, you see. There is one neighbour but it's, it's semi-detached and um, as we practise in that side of the house she can't hear us apparently, hopefully. Oh, I hope this is microwavable clean film. <laughs> Hmm. I just kind of assumed it all was these days. Health and safety warning if you're doing this, be aware that a very hot steam is going to come up, so yeah, I have been doing that. I present to you the delicious leftover banjo bong bong, and I'm going to eat it. Well, fair play, IB did say that was a bit of a crap microwave. That was not actually hot all the way through, so I'll put it back in. I'm out having a walk because it was just too nice not to. It's two o'clock and I just ate my lunch and my boyfriend appeared in the kitchen and now he's making a ham sandwich for his lunch because he didn't fancy the banjo bong bong. This weather is flipping lush. It is beautiful. Oh. I can't get enough of it. It's 25 degrees, I just looked it up on my phone, although I suppose it's 25 degrees in the shade, so <laughs> probably hotter in the sun. A dragon's just gone past, I'm actually not joking. Well, it's a dragon boat with a gilded, well, a gold painted dragon's head and a tail at the end. They're all in synchronization there. Beautifully coloured oars. They must be training for something. I've just come in and I was looking at IB's shopping list and I was convinced he said crisis on it, but I think it's meant to be crisps. <laughs> I need to pack all my things away now. As usual, I've made a bit of a mess. <coughs> IB bought me a little present. Oh. 30 degrees, apparently. We have got aircon on. IB is not enjoying the hot weather, are you? No. <laughs> Do you know, I find it really hard to get going again once I come home quite late in the day and like the working day isn't technically over, but it nearly is. Anyway, I came in and I was chatting to my daughter for ages because I hadn't seen her for a few days, obviously, so I didn't want to just rush upstairs and get back to it, so I didn't. We sat and chatted and then I potted around and I've just noticed I've still got some water on my glasses. I was fixing my hose pipe, it had kind of the hose pipe spool thing that's attached to the wall outside did a thing. I was just washing up one day and I heard sort of like that sort of noise and what it was doing is it just randomly started to spin around and it sucked the whole hose pipe up inside of it and because the end was off it just it fitted through the hole and I couldn't get it but today I thought right I'm going for it I'm going to get it because it's really hot so it'll all be like the plastic will be quite soft and malleable compared to usual and it was I managed to all bend it up inside and and get it out and then I managed to squirt myself in the face with it and I was trying to put the end back on and it fell off while I was doing some watering. So anyway, that's that story. The spare mattress is now in the spare room <laughs> at the moment. It has changed location. I need to get a dust sheet on that, actually. I don't like to think of a dusty mattress for my guests. And the reason it's in there is because I've got an idea. I need to measure it, but I'm hoping that this will fit in there. I don't know, I need to measure it. But if it does, I'm going to ask Izzy to help me manoeuvre it around. Facing this way, obviously, because otherwise it'll just it'll be too little space to get the drawers open I think and then I could shunt that along and that along you see and I think it would just feel a bit more open in here I think I forgot to tell you I bought some hair dyes the other day from Wilco they were on multi-buy so I got two and I'm gonna actually go red and then when I'm done with red and it's all faded I'm gonna go blue in that order because I think yeah that'll 
go on top of that better than the other way around, I think. We'll see. I haven't used that brand before, but the last time I went blue twice, it was live and it just faded so quickly. But anyway, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to get a pot of decaf coffee on the go and I'm going to do like an hour of work or something and put that washing away. In fact, there's more washing because Izzy's done some and it's hanging out on the line at the moment. Yeah, I need to get my parts in order. <laughs> My parts, and I need to send that envelope off. I'll do that tomorrow. Da, 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 da. I'd better to remind me. Well, it's in my diary, I won't forget. Come on, Nimmo, just get the papers out. I need to sort my parts out for my um, music, my band. Not that one, that's not the one. Ah, uh, that's another band, so oh, it's all mixed up. Now my phone's ringing. Do you ever feel like you just need to? draw a line at the end of the day and move on to tomorrow the next day. I feel like that, right? That was an absolutely lovely phone call. A real old friend just rang up completely out of the blue and we had a lovely little catch up. It's half past five now. <laughs> I still haven't started my music work. Oh, I've got a shadow. Apologies. I think I need to make myself some dinner. Mm. I, don't know, I just don't know what's happened to today. I don't feel like I've got very much done. I'm not going to do any music arranging now tonight. I'm going to have dinner. I'm tempted to go to Lidl and get those frying pans for Izzy. Because I fancy a walk. So I might do that. Eat, walk to Lidl's, get the frying pan set if they've still got them. And then come back and edit. I think that might be the rest of my day. Uh, the, the pans. Well, these were the saucepans that I bought for her. Hang on, I'll get them out and show them to you, shall I? I'm being all handheld today because I haven't really got time to get the tripod out and move it around. Right, um, this is the pan set from Lidl's. It was £25. You only have one handle, but you, yeah, you press a bush. Oh, I need my tripod tonight. It's really hard one-handed. Right, <laughs> it's like Russian dolls. <laughs> Take two. Right, I've just got them out. Um, this, there's only one handle that goes with all of it. Look, you press that to like open it up. And then if you want to close it, you do that. And then it clamps down on it, look. And that's it, so you've got a really sturdy handle. But it's great because it packs away really compact. I think it's great, actually. Yeah, I could do with some of them myself. I don't need any, I've got plenty of saucepans. So yeah, might be a good idea to get other frying pans as well. Unibox is now here. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, this is my daughter's Unibox. We're like starting to collect things for her to take with her to university. So these are towels on the top here in plastic to keep the dust off them. That towel's not going, that was just a previous dust sheet actually. I could probably take that out now. Right, I'm gonna go and eat something because I'm going all do lally now because I'm hungry and <laughs> dithery. Does that happen to you? Probably does. I've just had a rummage in the fridge. I couldn't remember what was in there because I haven't been home since Saturday. Um, but I'm gonna make something out of a potato, green pepper, courgette, mushroom, and some tofu. Here's dinner so far. I put a bit of water in so the potatoes would cook a bit better. It's like, I said, one of my weird, unique concoctions. This tofu, I've never had this brand before. I really like it. It's distinctly different from the cauldron brand that I usually have. It's denser, firmer, chewier. Oh, it says extra firm on it. Yeah, really like it. I've put the whole lot in, but it'll probably last me a day or two, that will. While that's cooking, I'll just do the dishwasher. Oh, this is what I've put in it. Crushed chilies, cumin seeds, ras el hanout seasoning, um, and the usual stuff. Soy sauce, extra virgin olive oil, and some lemon juice. 29.8 degrees in here, by the way. The other one's humidity. I put a stock cube in it because it was a bit bland. I'm feeling very impatient for the potato to cook. I did chop it up into tiny bits, but it seems to be taking forever. It's ready! I gave it a little taste then when I put the camera down and it is ready. It's a little bit brothy, I suppose, because it's very watery liquid, but I actually really like it. I'm going to put a bit of cheese on it and tuck in, and then we're going to go to Lidl. I've made it to Lidl's. I need to get my daughter some packed lunch ingredients, though I am kind of tempted to treat her to a donut as well. Jaffa donut, that sounds interesting. I'm going to get her a chocolate ring one. Ooh, four. 40p for sourdough crumpets. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, they're going home with me. I'm gonna get us some white wipes, 72 pence before them. I do have some reduced ones for 40p, the hot dog ones, but I felt them and they're a bit hard, so they'll be even more hard. Oh, tomorrow, won't they? So let's just get these for her. She wants tuna, which she's got at home. I'm gonna grab myself some mushrooms, 95 pence. I'm trying not to buy too much. I'll go shopping again soon, locally. I just, um, but I've run out of these. I've used the last one tonight. Sugar snaps for 99 pence, they can go in a lunchbox. Lentil cakes for 1.49 a packet, they are my favourite breakfast food at the moment. Gonna get some fun sized cucumbers for a lunchbox. It's £1.9. Oh my gosh, they look really appetising. <laughs> I ate loads of sugar earlier because my boyfriend bought me those Reese's Pieces thingies. I've eaten half of them. I don't know what's the matter with me at the moment, I'm craving sugar. I think it might be the hot weather. Right, but do they have the pans? That is what I've come in for. They have pans, or have they got the pans? I don't think they have, disappointingly. After walking all this way, 
Oh well, I've got some exercise and a donut. Yeah, oh, I just got very oniony fingers touching the reduced to clear stuff. There was some leaked stuff. Um, but anyway, this is what I got. £2.79, it's still a bit dear, isn't it? But two cooked and ready to eat salmon. So there's actually three days left on the date of that. And a macaroni cheese, I'll have that for my lunch tomorrow. I'll see if Lizzie wants that for her lunchbox. Otherwise, maybe we could have it for tea tomorrow. I bought some Greek cheese from here the other day and it was mouldy when I opened it. I should have brought it back really and asked for a refund, but I just didn't have time, so I didn't. I put it in the bin. Bloomy, £2.15. Always good to have some of that in. My boyfriend loves Bloomy. I'm not sure if I want yogurt or not because I haven't been home and I don't know if he's eaten it all. But I like the live stuff really and this isn't live. I think I'm going to leave it at that and go and pay and I've decided she can have the salmon at home not take it with her because it'll be out of the fridge all day it's about 20 to 8 now I'm hanging out on my back door so I don't have to worry about lighting because it's still sunny outside yay got a bit sweaty going to Lidl's and back I'm actually in vest and shorts right now not that you can see because it's all head and shoulders hey when I met Donnie the other day he said I was shorter than he realized because of course you see me at camera level but he was looking down at me because he's taller than me <laughs> so that's funny wasn't it um anyway fresh day tomorrow hopefully I have been more of a productive day tomorrow because I don't know what happened today <laughs> it just didn't work out very well but thank you so much for watching this video please give it a like if you liked it subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video bye you're right down there